finally got my great line. And as you can see, this one is ready to pop. Not good. Now, three things we need to do. Obviously, we need to check that the one we've got is right. So that just literally means kind of point it up to see if it matches. And it does all the clips in the right place where they should be. The bend is correct because there is a left and a right to these connections. You have the clip in the middle and then you have the connection at the end. Now, first thing we need to do is with a little plastic uh, pliers, is grip it and squeeze it to stop it from completely leaking everywhere. And uh, just start basically disconnecting. I personally prefer to use spanners for all this sort of stuff because you know you can over tighten these very easy and snap them. So, 12 mil on here. Uh, that's the connection in the middle. 12 mil. Now I'm going to take off the actual uh, one on the caliper, which is a 50, 14 mil. Oh, you little <laughs> oh, oh, Q. Oh, that's not always happen when your hands are cold. Be careful with this as well because this is a banjo bolt. So again, there's no, there's nothing in the middle basically. But the screws out nice and easy as you can see. Now another thing you have to remember is, because it's a banjo bolt, you have two washers either side of it, but they're not ordinary washers, they're copper washers. So just be sure you don't lose them, unless you've got copper washers. All right, the next thing to do, which unfortunately isn't always the hardest, is up here, you have a little clip and you have a 10 mil where it actually screws into the top. There's a little 10 mil connection on the top. They do, they, they, they can break, they are annoying, they're really tight. So what I suggest you do is give a good old rub with a wire brush, spray a bit of WD-40 in and leave it there for a few minutes. Now when you're taking these connections off, you don't really want to use a normal spanner because what happens is they just round and obviously you can't get that end in. You can get special spanners with a slight little cut in and you can hook it over the line and you can use it. But the, what I'm using is these special spanners. They basically bend round the clip and you get the hole, as you can see, it completely encloses on the bolts. Still not a definite, you'll take it off, but this gives you the best chance. Got it off, so that's good. Now, we have to be careful of it now is, because obviously we're gonna get a constant drip out of this pipe. So, what we really need to do is get a new pipe ready and be quick to screw this in to try and save as much fluid as we can and then we can put our clamp on this end. So that is gonna take, before I do that, there's a little, um, We'll take that clip off first. I'm going to take this clamp off. If you had to, it would be a bit better, but clamp it on here. And do this as quick as I can now. Without dropping that. Pull it out of the way. Now there is, and that's dripping. There's only one way these can go in. They do have flat ends, so you can only put these in one way. So you might have to just twist it a little bit. Listen at the same time, slip that in. Twist it in. Now, 
still around. In place. We pin in. Now, you have, again, you have to be careful putting this back. You can get a spanner to put this back, just a normal one, because you want to make sure you don't cross thread this. So you have to be very careful and make sure it's going in. That's not lined up, that's not going in. Can I push it down a little bit. Once you get it started, it's not too bad. That's now started. It's going down. But it should be going down nice and easy. I'm not obviously forcing this because you destroy the threads. You have to replace a lot more. Now, so I'm not going to tighten it properly with this because again, you can't really. So I'm going to get me, me nifty special spanner again. And actually tighten it with that. Now. That's a good thing to do is once you've done this, is obviously give it a good clean. Get the brake cleaners like I showed you on the disc. And just clean around here because you want to make sure obviously there's nothing leaking. If it's leaking in this connection, you're obviously not going to have brakes. Now all we need to do is basically make sure we're okay, so we're going to just hand tight the little bolt that goes in here, to get that in line, screw it in, just to hold it for us for the minute. Now, what we need to do is you take off this bolt and make sure we get copper washers as you can see they're actually together and this is the banjo bolt the one with the hole in the middle as you can see and there's a hole in the end that's how the fluid gets into the caliper so we need to make sure it's around there line it up properly first and literally it in. Now I'm just going to screw it in and make sure this isn't hitting anything. So I'm just going to turn it by hand and as we can see we're not rubbing against anything. If you set this at different angles as you can see it can rub so I'm going to leave it there where it can't rub anything. 14 mil spanner again. Again, be careful with this because, like I said, there's no, there's no, uh, nothing in the middle. It'll snap very easy. But obviously, you need it tight enough to not to leak. So, should be good. Release the clip. Screw in this bolt. Ah. We're going to bleed the brakes because obviously you have to bleed the brakes.